Hi everybody and welcome to this pixeldatabase.net tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I turned this stock photo that you see here that I have loaded in the center area into this background that you see here. If you saw my slate background I had before, I didn't like it. I really like this. I kind of dimmed this one down a little bit too much. I may just put the sharper image back up because I like it. I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I've got some queries saved over here. Let me go up to the top. Let me copy that. Go back over to pixeldatabase.net. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm taking 116 from red, green, and blue for the entire image except for I only want to do where red is greater than 60 which is most of this but there are some parts that aren't but we'll just go ahead and run it actually it was the whole image is greater than 60 because it was about the same as it loaded I took it down darker but I want to go even darker so I'm hitting it one more time okay that was about half as many pixels so that got us pretty dark so now I'm gonna go over here and now I want to make some of the bright spots a little brighter so I'll show you how we do this. I'm going to paste this in here and I'm going to make the red 50 pixels brighter but only where the red min difference is greater than 30. And the red min difference means this pixel wouldn't get updated. Neither would that one. Let me find one of the brighter spots. That one will because it's greater than, you know, the 40 minus 0 is greater than 30. So I'm going to go ahead and run this just to show you. Okay, so that made that, that kind of brought out some of the, the brighter areas, made it an even bigger contrast between the dark and the bright. Now, what I want to do is we're going to create a green area out of part of this image. So to do that, I'm going to just, this is my query, and it's just going to swap the green and red pixels, and it's going to say where X is less than 1412, which is probably, yeah, it's around in there, somewhere right in there. And the Y is kind of in here somewhere, 370, yeah, a little higher in here. But I'm going to go ahead and run it and just show you. So that's our green area. And now I'm going to do the blue area, which I'll go over here. Let me grab my little save query. I'll paste this in here. And this is going to do the bottom right corner to blue. For some reason to me, the blue seems like way darker than the red and green here. But so I'm going to kind of make the blue a little brighter right here. And I'll explain this. This is going to do the blue 25 pixels brighter, but only where the blue min difference is greater than 50. So if we look here, that's 96 from 0. So most of this blue greater than 50 is probably the same thing here. So basically it's just going to make the blue areas a little brighter. So that just kind of brings that out. Now I'm going to go back over here and I want to bring down some of the bright spots because I don't want it to be too bright. I know we just brought the blue up, but this is, I'll show you this query. This is going to adjust everything down by 25, red, green, and blue, but only where it's greater than 100. So like that'll get done, but the things in the 80, so that way the Areas that are a little bit dark won't get changed, but the areas that are too bright will get taken down. So I'm going to hit that. Okay, and that brought it down a little bit. And let me see. I think I can do that even one more time. I don't want it to be too bright, but I don't want it to be too dark either. The last thing, this is optional, but if say you want to make a little bit darker in parts of it, any area that's 80 or less, I'm going to just run this and I'll show you. This will kind of make some of the darker areas a lot blacker, kind of like that. I think I'm going to just leave that one right there if I update my website. i got to see if I, which one I like better. I think I like the, possibly, I'll have to compare them. I think the new one's a little better. But I've got this one real stretched out. I made it smaller to download faster, but I may put the larger one back because with Blazor it only loads once and it's cached on your browser. Okay, that was my real short video. Let me know if you like the new background. I kind of feel like Michelangelo, I think it was, that said he just chisels away the rest. God created the statue or somebody. I'm sorry. My art history is probably from Jeopardy. All right, well, have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. Thanks for watching.